Oh, here we go. Let's see. Whoa. That lid is so heavy it makes the whole thing roll. <laughs> okay, so I got the back door open so we can see with good light. These are some little charms that I did, and I have had them hanging on my... Um, let me hold this up here while I show you this. I had them hanging on my... Can you see that? Let me get something on the background here. So these are, so this is just a very sloppily made um, bar or roll of clay. And I have fired it many times. And I've got hooks on the bottom of it, like so. I'll show you from an angle out of high fire wire that I did, and then I hang hang the stuff from it like this. So you can, let me see if I can use this. This way I'll show you. So to get these loose, I may have to use something to break that loose. Yeah, there we go. So that's how we break them loose. Now I'll take a file and clean out the little hole if they have glaze on them. So there are some little things. This was one thing I was concerned about. This nearly slid off the wire, and one of them did. Um, let's see. This is, I had this little whistle on there, and the whistle landed, well, the wire, let go. So the, here's the wire had a hook on the end of it. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you this. Get it up against there. See that wire? This one right here. It did have a little hook in it. So it was hooked like like this one. Like kind of like a fish hook, right? So the the whistle was so heavy that it pulled it down in the fire and this one was heavy enough to pull it down too a little bit so right there I'm gonna probably have to do a little work and see if I can salvage that this one came out okay it it did okay it's not as heavy so when you do if you do something like this and make a little bar with hooks on it to fire beads or whatever you really have to be careful that you've got the right kind of wire to do that kind of thing mine it looks like i might need to switch if i'm going to continue to do the whistles and the pendulums uh, with this method i probably need to get a higher temp wire this was a fast fire because it was just all glaze but so this fell down you can see the imprint here where it landed on my shelf and it, i guess it landed kind of like kind of like that but it's it's wasted i mean it's it'll be in the trash i'll break it up and get rid of it because that doesn't work does it since i had one of these that wouldn't fit into the kill i thought it might be interesting to show this to you this is before it is fired these are just glazed charms that i have on here and i think one thing i will probably do before i stick it in the kiln is tweak these little hooks up a little further on the heavier things like this so Anyway, I hope you can see those. Let me see if I can get something dark behind that. Okay. There we go. Sort of. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Now, this one is just a circular thing because sometimes you have certain amount of space in the kill. You don't have... Uh, room enough for one of those big long bars in there and you may uh, be able to save space by using something like this 
and it's just got the hooks in it right here and then you hook a little another hook to it with your charm or your bead on it so I hope that is helpful okie dokie okay I'm gonna set you so you can see stuff and try to stay out of your light the other thing that I have that's a failure um, what it just shocked me <laughs> is this I'm so disappointed in this this is one of the friends bowls and I have holes around it to uh, add some little stuff but here is a um, this let me hold it so you can see the profile of it there we go you can see that the wire stilt went right through the bottom of the bowl. Now, I didn't have a thick bottom on here, and I didn't have a foot, but as you can see, that is probably going to be a total loss. It did not come through here. It just, it's just in there. So I might be able to um, take a skinny little file and get in there and maybe pull that out or uh, saw it off, saw off the little wire that was on the still. But this is probably a loss. So I'll make another one. It's all good. Some things work and some things don't. I mean, we don't get excited about it. Um, oh my goodness, I gotta see what this did. I had to do my shelves this way. Let me show you that. I had to do my shelves like this because I had just this one tall thing. So let's pull that out of there and see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm gonna pull that out. My goodness, <laughs> I love it. Let me set it up here so you can see it better. Oh my goodness. I love the way the, the, the leaves came out. It's got that kind of dark outline. And that's from, this had wax resist on it. And so, there's that. But let me put it in a more secure spot here. Goodness, I do like how that came out. And the inside of it is bright red. Well, it's actually fire brick. Oh, that's the color of the glaze. I wanted something that would be dark and mysterious looking. So this is the the vase. You guys probably saw that before I fired it. Now this has a couple more little, and that's one reason this is like part two because some of these little cream and sugar things were not fired. Okay. I wish I had a good, nice expensive camera so here is a little candy dish i guess it could be an ice cream bowl too because you got a handle to hang on to it keep your hand from freezing so that's cute this is all sea mist on both of these um, fires both of these kilns uh, the last two were just um, sea mist mostly in some copper float Here's a little sugar, and it goes with a little creamer. Here's the creamer that it goes with. So, whoops. Okay, so here's the creamer. It's cute. Now this, I, I went ahead on the creamers mostly 
I have glazed the rim and I've glazed the uh, lid and fired them separately so that um, you can keep that clean and you know when you're dealing with cream it's a whole different thing. Let's see what those look like in profile. Nice. So um, here is another little creamer. No, this is the sugar that goes to it. Now this is the sugar, so I didn't glaze this. There was no need to do that. So this is a little fat one, and it goes with this little creamer, which doesn't have a lid. So if you use this one, you'd have to put your cream back in the container to put it in the refrigerator. Alrighty, so let's move these. Um, oh, this is cute. This is this is another little creamer. No lid. You'd have a hard time making a lid to fit that. But it's very cute. You could use it for other things too, like gravy or melted butter or something like that. This is the sugar that goes with that one. It's white on the inside. Let's see, can you see that? White, no, just white underglaze with clear glaze over the white. And this is, this is part of the Friends Bowl. Now, it was supposed to work. The theory was, it's always, there's a theory, huh? You can use it like this. And here's a profile. So you can use it like that. Or if you could use it like Or you could do it like you could do it like this. And have have the profile be like that. Whoops, like that. So I'll have to make another one of these unless I can get this off of here somehow. Now there's another friends bowl in here. And it's this one right here. So let's see what this looks like. This one this one has sea salt on the back and um the it has a foot. I don't know if the foot will fit in here. Let me see. Clunk. Okay. Let's turn this over, move this. And you could use this one this way. Or you could use it, you know, this one could stand alone because it has a foot. But this one, this one just elevates it a little bit. And sometimes you want to elevate your friend's bowl. Right. So this is a beautiful bowl. This turned out really well. There's the back of it. Okay, so I'm going to set it over here. Okay. Let's look over here. Here's another little ice cream dish or a candy dish. This could even be a little wine thing if you drink wine out of that. But it's cute. It could be a lot of things. Okay, now this. Oh, yeah. Here's another little cream and sugar. There it is. Not a whole lot of light on it, but the creamer has the glaze around the rim and not the sugar so and i'm gonna do a, a video on how to how to grind your lids especially with this um uh, speckled clay you want to grind your your gallery and your lid so that everything fits really smooth and doesn't have any sticky spots it's a tiny little spoon and I made this just for kicks. Um, 
and I put a hook at the end so I could sort of maybe hook it over the edge of something. I don't know how I'm going to use this or what it's going to be for, but when I figure that out, I'll let you know. Okay, I set this up so I could show you something really cool. Well, I think it is anyway. Remember that piece that was stuck to the bottom of this? When I pulled it out of the uh, kiln, and you guys were watching here, this was stuck to the bottom, and it looked like the uh, the peg on here, the wire, the little stick-up thing. See, it's got a little wire, a sharp wire. And I thought it had gone through the pot, but what actually happened is it just laid down Two of them just laid down, and this one stayed up. So, uh, the edge of it, like right here, it looks like, got stuck to the bottom of the bowl, and I ground it off. So, it actually came off pretty easily. I didn't have to file it or grind it. I mean, grind this thing. But, um, anyway, it's a little goobered. Goobered. I don't know how to spell that, but that's a new word for you. Uh, it's kind of goobered up on the bottom. However, it's going to... Let's see. Crash. If I don't break it. It's going to look great on this. And it, it will survive. And it'll be just fine. So this bowl isn't finished. There's some... I'm going to make use of these... Um, little holes that are around the edge and so I'll show you that in another video. Also I wanted to say I noticed out in the garage that this bowl looked very white compared to the one underneath it yet I used the exact same glaze. The difference is this glaze that I used in here came out of a different uh, batch than this did. So this one is a little thinner uh, in the saturation of color. I've, I've prepared it exactly the same way that I did this one, uh, but this one just came out a little lighter. So that is something that happened in manufacturing the, uh, the dry glaze that I got. So that's what happened. But it's good. It's I mean it's not something that I can't live with because it looks good and it goes with this beautifully. So but these two are just darker than this one. So that is the reason I realized that um that was just a new batch of glaze. So okay. Gonna charge up my camera now.